back here. No retreat and no surrender. Guys, in this life, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I learned this acronym, guys. Fear is another bit. It's an acronym standing for false evidence appearing is real. A lot of times, man, fear is in our head. Like we we talk we talk to ourselves into a frenzy, man, for just because of past experiences or whatever. But I'm here to tell you, man, the most liberating thing I ever did was to face my fear. And that's been in every situation, man. Once I face it, it seems to diminish in size and power over me, man. And then, therefore, I empower myself. So the topic of today's video, guys, is from incel to alpha number five, PUA, the education of a pimp. And guys, I just want you to understand one thing, man. If you've been following my video series from number one, what I did is uh, I made this for the incels and the TFLs. Had them agree that they were fucking TFLs. And then I had the, and then I got the... So basically what I did is I did some research and I, f I found that what happens is a lot of guys with antisocial behavior, they just don't have social skills, bro. But they're called sociopaths. And if... if if men like us don't help sociopaths, like we are, we get, as part of being in a civilized society, we all got to do our part. And that's one thing I like about the military and sports, what it teaches you, man. It teaches you to, you're only as strong as your weakest link, dude. And so the men that are part of your community or your tribe, dude, is your responsibility to help them out, man. Now, maybe you don't want to be a leader like me, but do your part, man. That's part of being a man, part of the brotherhood, right? So, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say, I just I did some research and I found that sociopaths, they can take two paths. Path number one is, they can become a psychopath because you can't be in that state of being antisocial, feeling like you're rejected by women, you're, you're bullied on by men, and you're just not accepted, you don't even accept yourself, you don't have self-love. Dude, he who doesn't, doesn't love himself, bro, he's a dangerous motherfucker, man, because a dude... In this life, whether you're white, black, Asian, Puerto Rican, Mexican, fucking Indian, uh, whatever the fuck, Russian, German, Yugoslavian, dude, a person that doesn't love themselves, they ain't got nothing to lose, and the person that ain't got nothing to lose, that's a scary dude, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually put a, a link to this movie called Juice with Tupac in there because he makes a he makes a statement, dude. He said, I ain't shit, and I ain't gonna never be shit. And I don't give a fuck about my life, so I don't give a fuck about nobody's life. That's a scary dude. So if you run into a person, and, you know, sometimes, man, and I'm not being soft, dude, but this is what I found. This is what I tell my nephews, and I tell young dudes, man. And this is philosophical, guys, and I'm, I'm talking to you as a man. And there's different kind of men, but I'm just talking to you as a beastly man who has learned to appreciate the softer things in life. But anybody can be a killer, man. What it takes is a real man, dude, when you are mad and you are heated and you want to kill something, bro. What it takes a real man to do, man, is to take control of your emotions and your feelings, bro. And to rationalize that that is not the right thing to do, even though you feel like that's the right thing to do. Because if every time we were mad, dude, and heated, we killed some shit, bro, we, man, we would be back to barbaric days, man. <laughs> And always remember this, guys. It's always somebody bigger and stronger and meaner and crazier. But to me, this is what I learned from pickup bars. That a sign of a real man, and, and I learned this from watching Iceberg Slim's movie, Pimp. I'm going to put that in the description there. He said, that, man, a real man, dude, you have control of your emotions, dude. You never let a hoe. They got a, they got a commercial, um, I think it's the air at Extra Dry. Never let them see you sweat or something. And that I've learned, dude, in my travels in life. Is don't let other people push your buttons, man. So what I was trying to say is, um, I study sociopaths, and so if they don't get help, dude, left to their own um, mores, they become psychopaths. They go to school and fucking kill up, whether it's you know little grade school kids or middle school kids or high school kids or even on college campuses, bro, or even like what happened in Las Vegas, dude. So I'm just saying, man, like, if you can do your part, man, I mean, just karma, bro. 
But then let's say path number two they can take a sociopath. We could help them to actually um, understand that they're an incel and they're involuntarily celibate. And we can educate them and enlighten them. And then one of the holy books I read, it says, He who has knowledge and does not share, it is a sin. And he who can read but cannot read, he is worse than the blind man. So knowledge is to be shared, dude. So then we took the guys from the from the sociopath, we took them to an incel to understand that they're involuntarily celibate. But then the incels in video number four, we took incels and we educated them to understand that they're really a TFL. Because most incels masturbate, so you can't be an incel. But you are lonely. You're truly forced lonely because you don't have the what society has deemed attractive qualities. And so then the next video, number five, was said that uh, true force loneliness, that's, I'm trying to get you to the path to alpha. You got to walk before you can run, man. You got to crawl before you can walk. And so the path to alpha for a TFL was to realize that he wants to become a, men, a MGTOW man going his own way. And MGTOW men are real manly men, dude. It's just they're playing by an old set of rules. And then me being a technologist, on the bleeding edge of the evolution of society. It's just way technology shapes society, guys. So don't kill the fucking messenger. I'm just letting you know the fucking facts. You who are, who are not technology friendly, you need to go to community college and take a class on the fucking, it's called the Internet of Things. And when you take that class, the first thing it's going to do to you, man, after, you, after your mouth drops open, the second thing, you're going to come home and you're going to fucking weep. Yeah, you're going to weep like a little bitch boy. You're going to weep like a fucking woman, like a baby, dude. Because you're going to realize, like, we are no longer in control of society. The fucking artificial intelligence and robotics is, dude. And artificial intelligence and robotics is gearing everybody to become a woman, bro. And then once you realize that, my subscription is going to go off the fucking roof. I probably have 10 million subscribers, bro. Because then you'd be realizing OG Silverback's not crazy. OG Silverback's not a fucking a beast and an animal. Well, I am. But there's a reason for that. Because there's a, there's a phrase that I use when I talk to my customers. I say the more high tech a society becomes, the more you have to get in touch with your inner animal because technology is trying to take men and turn us into women, bro. So then you went from uh, TFL, the education of the MGTOW. Then I went from, and I explained to MGTOW guys that their next l level of evolution is to understand that women are here to stay. And this goes from MGTOW, it more uh, as save yourself black man you know all these different organizations that don't want to deal with women bro that's ludicrous man so now this next video here is pickup arts the education of a pimp and here's what it comes down to guys i think that pickup arts are good for tfls and n cells and vo cells and gym cells to understand because what one thing you know one thing I do like about the pickup artist industry is the books that they write. Like, I read a lot of self-help books, personal development books. Pickup arts is concentrated, dude. It's like a concentrated dose of how to manipulate women, bro. So you can get some pussy. And I think getting pussy is a very healthy thing. And I'm talking to you MGTOW guys and you Ipmore guys and you S-Y-B-M-S. Wait, save yourself, black man. S Y B M. Save yourself, black man. Oh, S Y S B M. I don't even know how to say that in the acronym. Is it CISBISM or CISBOM? Anyway, it's healthy, dude, to get some fucking pussy, bro. There was, hey, dude, there was, I, study, uh, I study military history. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a barbarian. Like, most of my friends tell me that I was born in the wrong age. Like, they say, I don't know if you know this on the most most of my videos at the beginning. Like sometimes I, I teach I put some teachable videos in there for you guys because I, I run across them and it's like most people learn better from watching. I learn better from reading. I learn from watching too, but I just like to read because I make it my own. But I was having the, the theme from three hundred in there now. I've like my one of my dudes, man, one of the customers I have, um there's a lot of uh, retired special forces um, Navy SEAL dudes man because there's a there's a there's a Department of Defense that 
specializes in cybersecurity, like dealing with hackers, because of now a lot of the Al-Qaeda and, and ISIS, those dudes are going more digital with the cryptocurrency. And so they get they get these special forces black ops dudes, so when they track them down digitally, they'll fly to where those fuckers are, man, and do some shit that you can't even imagine to get done with you, you motherfucking Geneva Convention believing motherfuckers, man. But keep on believing your fairy tales, man. So anyway, uh, they turned me on the Game of Thrones, bro. And so while I like the Romans and the gladiators and uh, the, the, the Spartans and shit, I just like, man, the era where man-to-man -man combat was about, like, whether it was a sword or a knife or a club or an axe, you know, like, it's man against man, bro. All this fucking bow and arrow and fucking fucking guns and fucking missiles and fucking drones and bombs and chemical warfare. I understand, man. You know, it's a bunch of cowards fighting, bro. But, man, back in the day, I mean, that's the thing that I was brought up on because the one thing my dad taught me was my body is my temple. This is where my spirit lives, man. This is where I'm housed, my soul. And so what I do is I sharpen my temple, man. Like, what I do exercise and eating clean. Once you understand that, it makes you want to exercise your body bro that's your only body like instead of whacking your dick bro like exercise your body like man the other day I was running I felt so good there were some hot chicks at the fucking track I ran at the fuck I like to go run at the college man cause they got that what's it called when the track is rubberized dude there's, there's a term for it but and then they got the artificial turf but dude it's better for my knees cause I'm, I'm still about 270 but I'm toning up right and they got hot girls running there with the little fucking hot little pink little fucking booty shorts or whatever and fucking halter tops. Man, I'm like, fuck you, horse. And I just run past them, dude, right? You know, I feel good because I can breathe deeply and long. And I'm, you know, I can embrace my athleticism, my animalistic fucking power. And I just show horse that you are not my fucking equal, man. And so it just feels good. I actually get high off of that, dude. It's, to me, I was telling a lot of my friends, like, when I get a good workout in, man, like, I do some plyometrics and some, some bar work, man. Like, I mean, I'm talking about reps, dude. Hundreds of reps, bro. Till you're sweaty and you're fatigued. To me, that's better than having a fucking orgasm inside of a fucking woman. And while I know a lot of you guys don't want to get there where I'm at, like, mentally like that because I'm sick. But you got to get to a point where you love yourself, man, and you appreciate your masculinity, dude, because testosterone, bro, we were blessed with that. You could have some fucking soft-ass estrogen running through you, make you a soft fucking squishy little fucking whore who's fucking subject to her clit and her emotions, bro. So thank God or Allah or Buddha or the aliens or Confucius, whoever you pray to, man, that you're a fucking man and you got testosterone, but use it, right? So now this video series here, I'm going to be talking about... Um, um, PUA is the education to become a pimp because while pickup artistry I think is really good for incels and TFLs and MGTOWs man it helps you to understand a woman's innate behavior and I'm not talking about MGTOW teaches you about like hypergamy and, and fucking monkey branch and okay th those are those are the fucking traits that just deal with the women's of in their ability to want to just have the easy life by, you know, profiting off another person's fucking uh, hard work. It reminds me of what I said in my last video, like from 15 to 20, I had a minimum wage job and I just like saving money. This is an example because I was, uh, I went to the military 17, but I'm just telling the story because I know a guy like this here. I remember when I was a, when I was a teenager, it was this dude. Um, we used to have summer jobs together and it's this dude was always saving his money like you know us we would buy some new shoes like some Jordans or something or you know buy some sports equipment or you know buy some clothes this dude just wore the same jeans and t-shirt man every day and people clowned him bro but then when he hit 20 dude motherfucker bought him a tight ass fucking car back east they got this thing called Jitney and this is before Uber but you know a dude had a car you can um you can call it. You can call the number, or you could, they, they're, they're sitting there parked. You can just read, "Hey, can you take me to so and so street?" And you pay him some money. And I'll, I'll put a link to the video to um, Fifty Cent's video where he gets a jitney, man. 
Yeah, I, I want you guys to see like how I grew up and stuff. I mean, I appreciate you guys growing up like be leave with the beaver and fucking shit, man, and everything. But you know, I think you can have an appreciation growing up in the hood. It makes you, it makes you, like, hard, man, and not have a lot of compassion. But anyway, so this dude, man, he 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 saved up and bought his car, and he was jitney in. And this motherfucker just jacked him and took his car, bro, and fucking smoked his bitch ass. Now, before you get mad at me for calling him a bitch, this is what I define as a bitch, dude. If you walk around in this life and you're a hard-working dude, man, like you're paying your dues, you're doing what you're supposed to do, bro, and you're not aware that there's wolves and fucking, there's fucking hyenas, man, and fucking, uh, people lurking in the shadows that just want to, they don't want to work, they just want to take yours, and you not, you don't prepare yourself for that? I'm sorry, man, I mean, in my world, you're a bitch, so hopefully you live in your own world, but I'm just saying, dude, don't be naive, man, like, you're a hard-working dude, and maybe you're smart, you made some good decisions, you got a good job, and you balling hard, man, like, you got a nice house, man, and a nice car, and you got a fucking hot wife, or maybe you you're a dude in your, in your 30s, you're smart enough not to get married. You're just banging a lot of whores, man. And you live in fat. If you don't think there's some dudes in the shadows, man, fucking jealous of your ass. No, you earned it, bro. Get, don't get me wrong. You earned what you have. But there's some people in this world that are lazy, bro. It's fucking Generation X, motherfucker. Generation Y, Z. And they don't want to put the work in, but then they want the glory, dude. So they want to they take yours. And so if you're not prepared for that, then you're a bitch. That's just my opinion, man. You get mad all you want. But I think what's important is, like, for MGTOW guys, man, and TFL, you study PUA because it really teaches you that women are fickle and they're full of shit, bro. And <laughs> this is the one thing I really learned really well from PUA that I use to this day. There was this dude called Mo One, and his whole thing is, like, direct game, same night lays. There was this other dude named Sin, John Sin. And they specialize in same night lays, and I like that because um, I, I told you I used to go out with my my friends, man, my homies, and we used to go out. This thing is what's it called? Like after hour? I mean, after work is called oh happy hour. Yeah, bro. If if your game is tight, man, happy hour you can end up fucking some horns, bro. And so what I learned from mode one and sin is a woman's cycle, bro, and it's a thirty day cycle. Every month they go through the same thing, and so. For two weeks out of the month, bro, they're just like normal fucking whores. Just fucking sadiddy, uppity fucking cunts, bro. Thinking they're better than everybody just because they got good genetics to make them like a soft flower. And, man, we love soft flowers. We like the touch of them because they're soft. We're hard. We like the smell of them. We like the look of them, right? That's just how we're wired, bro. We're men, bro. We like to eat beef and fuck some wet pussy, bro. And drink some fucking ale, homie. And be with our homies, dude. We only want women just so we can bust a nut, man. But some of you guys fall in love with that shit. And you think that's love. You just don't know. It's lust, man. But anyway, back to the story. And so, uh... Motherfucker, you just be like, uh... I don't know, man. It's just, uh... You gotta get to a point, man. Where you just, like, appreciate, man. What you got, man. And so, uh... You know, the pickup arch just teaches you, man, like, two weeks out of the month, women just are fucking stuck up, fucking entitled little children, bro. When you deal with women, you got to understand a woman's mind and development stops at, like, 14. I'm talking about, man, um, intellectually and emotionally. No, she might get mature and wise knowing that she can't show it as much. Just because now, you know, she's a single mom and she's got to fucking work. she got to go to office. She's in her 30s or 40s or whatever. She just can't be breaking down like a 20-year-old. But it's still in there, right? So for two weeks out of the month, they're just fucking stuck up fucking whores. Just very picky. But then the third week out of the month, what happens is, bro, they start going through their fucking, um, uh, their ovulation, bro. And that's when they're fucking horny as fuck, bro, because they're ovulating. And it's just like a dog in heat, bro. So you gotta understand one thing, man. A mammal is a mammal is a mammal. 
And I, I, I understood this because I went by my homeboy's house one time and he had a female chihuahua. And that motherfucker was trying to fucking hump on everything. And I was like, I was like, dude, your dog's a female. And he goes, yeah, she's in heat, man. And even in the animal kingdom, the, 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 the males know when a woman's in heat, they can hit that shit, right? And so women, human women are the same way, man. It's just women are very good. Um, women are good actors and role players. They're chameleons, bro. Like, you can learn a lot from a woman, man. A woman, they make the best secret agents, bro, because they are very good. They're very crafty, bro. Like, you never know what a woman's thinking. I know what a woman's thinking because I know how a woman thinks, but, I mean, they can put on a fucking, it's called a poker face, bro, when they want to, bro. Trust me, bro. And they learn this as they get older. Younger women are still slaves to her emotion, but as a woman gets, like, past 25 and she's been manipulating men enough with her emotions, she learns how to turn it on and off. Trust me when I tell you this, guys. You got to get past thinking with your dick, though. And that's what I like about pimps, man. So, the pickup artist community, man, they teach you, like, just, let's just call it the monthly cycle. They teach you how to take advantage of that and to manipulate a woman's emotions so you can have a same-night label. What Mo One teaches you is this. Whenever you walk into a supermarket or a social event or the cleaners or a gas station or let's just say a bar, you know what I mean? And you walking into a social environment where you're going to be there for, let's say, an hour or two. He said, what you want to do is scan the room. Don't be like these little millennials all in your fucking phone, dude. Like you're fucking a retard, bro. Put your phone away. And he said, he said, scan the room, bro. And keep scanning the room. And you look and see who's looking at you. And then when you see a woman looking at you, bro, you lock eyes with her, man. You give her a little half smirk smile, man. You know? And nod your head. And then you just go right over there, man, and talk to her. And you just say, hey, I noticed you over here. How's your day going so far? It doesn't matter what she say, because this is my favorite line, bro. And it is a line, because I just say it to all the fucking whores. Check this out. Hey, I noticed you over here. How's your day going so far? Whatever they say. Wah, 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 Charlie Brown teacher. I tell them like this. But guess what? And I put a pause in my voice, because that shows. I don't give a fuck about what she said. It should go what? I go, your day's going to get a lot better. And I pause again because you had the fortune of meeting me. I said, like, tell me your story, you know what I mean? I'm like, what you up to? What are you into? Let them do the fucking talking. The whore's going to tell you, I'm here to have a drink. I had a rough day at work, whatever. Man, you know what? Like, you need to take your shoes off and relax and get your feet rubbed. Women love to hear that, bro. I just tell them that so I can fuck them. But you want the women who are down to fuck, bro. And they will... Let me tell you something. When you go somewhere and a woman locks eyes with you, bro, like, it's one thing if a woman looks at you and looks away. That's an indicator of interest. Like, you know, she's lacking your style. She's giving you an open invitation to approach. But when she locks eyes with you, she's in that period of ovulation where she's down to fuck. And whatever it is about you that's your manliness, she'll let you fucking squirt up in her. So that's what I liked about the pickup arts. Now, here's the problem I got with the pickup arts because, as you guys know, I made videos saying they're the bottom feeders, but it's like this, dude. I've taught you everything you need to know about pickup bars right there, bro. You know, you just you just work out, bro. Take a little bit of martial arts. Dress good. You walk into a venue, scan the room, see who's looking at you. If a woman looks at you and looks away, go talk to her. But if she locks eyes with you, bro, you sit there and you get straight to the point in a very sophisticated way. That's pickup bars right there. Now, here's the problem I got. They keep selling you products and selling you products. And what the products do, bro, they make you a supplicant, man. And I'm going to put a link in there what a supplicant is. But a supplicant, you supplicate to a woman. You lower your masculinity, dude. I'm going to tell you why I'm a successful woman. This is a true story, bro. Like, when I was playing sports and stuff, I banged a lot of girls because I was an athlete. I got it. It was an archetype, dude. Then when I was in the military, I banged a lot of girls because I was a... You know what's funny, man? This is I just thought about this, guys. And I'm I'm sorry if I'm going on a rant, but the military trained me to be a killer and they paid me to fucking go kill. But the problem is, you know, they want me to kill who they wanted me to kill in the way that they want me to kill them, right? You know what I mean? I'm like a hired a fucking assassin. But then when I'm on my own time and some guys try to fucking rob me, dude, and uh, 
just because I'm trained and I fucking, you know, maybe I shouldn't have shot the fucking, the, the fucking dude in his fucking back, bro. But he's running away, and you know, in the hood, this is how it works, man. If, if you're in the hood, man, and three dudes rob you, and you shoot the first dude in his stomach, bro, and he goes down, and now you got his gun, and, he, and his other two homies is running, and you shoot his one homie in the back so he can't go nowhere to go chase his other homie down. Hey, man, let me tell you the, the rules of engagement, dude. Like, maybe his other homie got away. I, my wife was screaming for me to stop chasing the third dude, so I came back. But if I wasn't, if my wife wasn't there, the dude I shot in his back, I would have fucking just shot him in his dome. And the other dude I shot in his stomach, I would have shot him in his face. Which I didn't. I left the scene of the crime, and they died from their injuries. But I'm just letting you know how I would have did it. Because in the hood, man, if you, t if you shoot a motherfucker... You better finish him off because he's going to come back and get you. So now let me get back to the story I was talking about um, before. And so, uh, yeah, the pickup bars, man, they, they just, uh, they, they make you a simp, man. They make you a supplicator. Because anytime you're constantly approaching women, dude, and you, uh, you know, you, you, you acquiesce to them and you got to run game, dude, that's some bitch boy shit. The, the scenario I gave you when you walked into, let's just say it's a, a, a bar, and you scan the bar, and it's just fucking whore locks eyes with you, bro. Or she looks at you, bro. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Like, women approach you in different ways. Like, she's not physically approaching you, but she's letting you know. And this is where pimps come in, dude. Pimps are hard like me. They just understand that a hoe is a hoe. And what they do is they get the hoe, man, when she's at her horniest, and they just teach her that when she fucks, she gets a reward, which is money. And she gives the money to the pimp because he's the one that explained to her the way the rules go. Like, hey, your pussy is a gold, man. Dudes will pay money for it. And he learns to manipulate women and dominate them and subjugate them because that is the role of society, bro. And I'm sorry to tell you this, guys. The problem in America when we got this uh, feminism and women's rights and equal rights and, and men being brought up by single moms, dude. I had this problem too, man. My mom was very beautiful, West Indian woman. She's West Indian and American, and very beautiful, high cheekbones, long black hair. She had slanted Asian eyes, bro, in the hood. Everybody wanted to go up in my mom's so I was a little dude. You grow up with this Captain save a mentality, like you want to save women, bro, but that's not the role. If you have grew up with a, a beast mode of a dad like me, he would teach you, like, I put this clip about... Uh, leave it to Beaver where uh, Warwick Cleaver's telling his son a woman's role, a woman's place. And it's just the way it is, dude. I didn't I didn't make the rules, homie. You read any holy book, man. The man was created first and the woman is his servant, dude. Then if you just want to look at the law of the jungle, man, men are bigger and stronger physically, bro. That's just how it is, man. We got testosterone. We're more aggressive, man. So pimps just teach you, man... The proper role of men and women, dude. Fucking hypergamous whore. Keep fucking texting me, man. Fucking. I'm gonna fucking give her a money shot in her fucking eye. But anyway, guys, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the part right there, bro. You know, PUA is just the education to prepare you to be a pimp. Until next time, OG7 back. Out.